feels like a long time. I had a couple of months in Japan and then um, back in Oz for a few days and then been here. Uh, done a bit of travel, but we've kind of based ourselves um, here on the farm, and it's been probably not what I expected, but I've learned a lot, and um, it's certainly been a break from rugby. Dave left in October to go on spring tour, and I was in Perth. We kind of packed up the house in Canberra. Um, and put all our stuff in storage and I went to Perth and he went on spring tour and then we were supposed to go straight to Japan. Um, I was going to fly from Perth and he was going to fly from London. But when Christian got sick and then went down to Melbourne for treatment, we decided to go and spend a day with him on the way. <laughs> Into the kind of circuitous route. Um, so we went then from Melbourne up to Japan um, and to Ota, the little town of Ota and spent two months there, um, which Dave was playing for Panasonic. It was totally different, um, but really enjoyed it. A good, good, good group of guys at Panasonic, good coaches, um, and enjoyed the rugby. I kind of arrived on the Tuesday and then maybe the Wednesday played on the Saturday, which was quite an experience. Line up moves and, and uh, sort of switch from all the Wallaby calls that you know so well by the end of the season and then to Japanese calls, but um, missed a couple of things in the game, but enjoyed it. There's the steal from Pocock. How good is he? How good is David Pocock? But then... We really weren't sure, like before the World Cup, what we were going to do after that. And then, um, I don't know, I mean, I think had they won, we might have made very different decisions, but because they didn't and because that was such an incredible experience for that group of guys, Dave had a real sense of wanting to have one more crack. Mm -hmm. And so we were just sort of talking about ways to make it possible for him to get to 2019. You do realise as you get older how it is taking toll on your body. I, mean, I remember as an 18 year old just you know, thinking it was, it was one of the funniest things, Brennan Cannon sitting in the, in the hot tub every afternoon after training and you'd think, you know, what's this bloke on about? Um, and everything's fine when you're 18. I guess as you get older, you do start to feel the, the aches and pains more and, and, you know, probably are more vulnerable to injury. We thought it was great for Dave. You know, he's been, he started when he was 17 and he's just turned 29. It's a long time to have your life is so incredibly scheduled and, yeah, just working within a program. And, yeah, we, we thought it was great, you know. To be honest, as a mum, I thought he might have been ready to hang up his boots and say, I'm done. Well, if it was any other player, you'd sort of look sideways and think, well, you know, why would you want to have time off? But with, um, with David, he's a unique character, and you know that it's that balance, I suppose, the uniqueness that he has that gives him the balance as, a, as, a, as such a great player. And um, it was pretty straightforward from my point of view. You know, I don't think there was any trying to talk him out of it. I've spoken to a few ex-players and spoke to a few players who'd had time off. Um, guys like Clyde Rathbone, um, I guess the late Dan Vickerman, and both of them said, mate, if you want it, do it, do it. They both had, had breaks and then got back into rugby um, and really encouraged me to. So I think that was probably one of the, one of the things that kind of settled it for me was talking to those two. I think post-professional rugby is such a it, it, it's such a difficult time for the guys you know they and I, we thought that this would be possibly a way that Dave could just start working on something that he can look towards when he's finished rugby or yeah just to just refresh him away from all the pressures.
Pocock. And Pocock! What a way to start that Simbin period. This is Bowden Barrett, control this, and the cup is his. It's New Zealand. Being part of that group and coming close, but really, um, you know, ultimately uh, coming away with, with pretty empty handed. Um, certainly want, want to be, you know, part of a team that can earn, earn the right to, to, you know, do well at the, on, on that stage again. When he does come back, it's going to give him a lot of hunger and, you know, 2018, 19 will be important years for us. He brings this great skill set with him that the team, you know, we need that skill set and that profile that he has. Um, and most importantly is he drives extremely high standards. I think can take us to another level. For me, the World Cup is just sort of etched in my brain as like the ultimate, which it is in our sport. Um, you know, from watching Francois Pina holding the trophy when I was... You know, it's actually here. Remember, we were on, we were on the farm here and um, watching at my grandfather's house, watching the final. And I, I was like so pumped. I remember at halftime, like running out to the little veranda thing and like skateboarding up and down and then going back inside and watching the second half. Attached to it, but it's taken by Tom Youngs. At the breakdown again, it's number eight, Pocock. After the World Cup, it was so intense. Um, and such a special time for that group of guys, I think. Um, that even leading into Super Rugby the following year, I think it was hard to get back up to that level. One of the big advantages of having this time off was being able to come out and, and see a bit more realistically what it's like to be involved in conservation and agriculture and community development um, and spend time with some people who are doing it and try our hand at it ourselves. It certainly hasn't been uh, probably what Emma had hoped for. And what parts of me had hoped for, you know, put the feet up um, by the beach and just get away from all your troubles, um, if that's possible, but it's been very different. I don't know, maybe when you share trips on social media, people just think that you've been traveling the world or traveling Southern Africa. Um, but it's been hard, but I, I think we'll look back on it and say, yeah, that was a good time after the fact. We learnt a lot. <laughs> Sometimes we're just like, what are we doing? <laughs>